From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Tissue manufacturer, the Twinsaver Group, last month opened a new manufacturing plant in Clip River on the border of the Midval and Ikurileni municipalities. Malene Arnoldi tells us more. Twinsaver invested 500 million rand in the manufacturing facility in which the most significant piece of equipment is a 25,000 tons a year Tosco Tech machine, which is the first of its kind in the southern hemisphere. It can produce between 1,800 and 2,000 meters of tissue material a minute. The machine is fed virgin fiber to make the tissue material, which can then be used to produce toilet paper, dry wipes and facial tissues. Twinsaver Group CEO Garth Towell discusses the company's export potential and extended manufacturing. What we've developed is a plan to be able to service the South African development community um, from our operations here in South Africa with finished goods product alternatively with jumbo rolls which come off this new machine. If we're going to go beyond the likes of a Zambia, Malawi, etc., we'd only be doing that with the jumbo rolls that come off this type of machine. And we would do that not just sporadically, we do that with the specific intent of potentially exploring opportunities to set up manufacturing of this kind in the likes of East Africa and potentially even West Africa. With a machine that size and with its delicate Yankee dryer component, Tower discusses the challenges in getting the machine to South Africa and how Twinsaver managed them. I'd say one of the biggest challenges we had was doing a process checkout, electrical checkout, mechanical checkout in Italy with this machine fully assembled and then for the manufacturers to disassemble it, put it on a ship, send it 10,000 miles and then have to reassemble it here. So that's a challenge in itself. You've probably got hundreds of containers being shipped across the seas and making sure that those containers are delivered to Durban port and then across the road to, to uh, this facility without any damage. Um, one, of the, one of the bigger challenges is the Yankee dryer, which is the heart of this particular machine. It's where the tissue is actually dried. Um, and ensuring that that did not get damaged along the way. And we had a couple of incidents where there were near misses in terms of that getting uh, installed without any major mishap. Um, unfortunately, we did have two uh, minor safety um, setbacks. Um, both individuals recovered, um, uh, but you know, you want to go undertake a project of this nature without any any sort of uh, safety incident. So I think the two biggest challenges were ensuring that this particular machine got here and started up um, on time, and then secondly, the safety around it, because at any point in time, we had more than 200 people working on this site. It's a difficult thing to control. The fact that we only had two incidents, I think is testimony to the people that, that installed it and did all the ancillary work around it. The construction of the manufacturing facility took about 15 months to complete. The leading contractor, Tosco Tech, along with Arab, oversaw the turnkey delivery of the plant equipment. This entailed stock preparation systems for virgin pulp, a tissue machine encompassing the latest dry crepe tissue technology, as well as plant auxiliaries, control systems and electrification, the energy savings of which is between 15 and 20 percent. Tawel tells us more about how long the installation took. The installation itself, um, I would say from a project perspective, was probably six to eight months. Um, but obviously the building and the infrastructure around that took a lot longer. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.